Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Adriana. This channel is dedicated to fragrances. Well, today I'd like to talk about a beautiful perfume. Oh my gosh, one of the best from the series of La Vie Belle. It's La Vie Belle Rose Extraordinaire from Lancome. Well, I'm going to show you the bottle. The bottle is really beautiful. It's made by, uh, what is the name of the artist? Um, Katrin Krunas. Uh, she is the artist that made this design. And it's a beautiful bottle. It's the same, uh, like that square, right, from La Vie Belle. But instead of Julia Roberts' smile, you see the 3D rose with the petals. So you can see the petals from above. It's, it's like looking at the rose from above, then you see all those petals curl, curling uh, each other, right? So, um, and the bowl is silver. I'm just gonna zoom a little bit so you can see it's glittery silver. And uh, this here, the lace, uh, looks like uh, an umbra, umbra uh, type of leaf that resembles delicate, uh, crystallized rose petals, really elegant, pretty, amazing. Uh, I loved it. And the perfumers from this perfume, three extremely talented, famous, amazing, extraordinaire, like the perfume Rose Extraordinaire. So the perfumers are Dominique Rupion, and Filippo and Olivier Poge. What do you want as a result? Perfection, right? And I really think that this fragrance here is perfection. I loved it, loved it. So I have here on the blotter and on my skin. When I sprayed in the air first, um, I was amazed about, uh, about the, the freshness. So it comes, it opens um, like green because I think they put some uh, green leaves or green stems. Um, let me see the note. Yeah, green stems. And you can, you can smell this uh, green like a fresh, uh, uh, freshly cut rose. You smell that with a slight of a citrus. Uh, for f more freshness and then oh my gosh the roses it's like um, caramel rose it's like a sugared rose uh, powdery <laughs> so it's such a, a, a beautiful rose like a gourmand rose uh, but not heavy uh, it's it was light so I was like mm, wow that's that's like a cake a rose cake caramel cake and that's exactly what it is so it opens very fresh and immediately turns into something um, like a beautiful sweet rose and the rose uh, it's it's like a mix of uh, sweet red roses with a lot of uh, pink roses exactly like this rose that you can see here exactly like this so it smells like this mixed with the sugary rose and uh, the roses that they use here is damascena rose they use uh, rose water and something very unusual space rose and then i heard uh, some like a, an attendant at uh, the perfume store saying that they used uh, this space rose note is is an experiment that NASA made that they sent a rose to the the space to see how the rose was gonna uh, evolve <laughs> and then uh, when they brought back uh, there was a little difference in the smell and Lancome just uh, was interested in that and uh, they kind of a uh, yeah they they went for it uh, to to you know re recreate that scent of the the sweetness of the rose from the space 
I don't know. I, I don't know anything about that. I never heard anything about that. But that's what uh, the, the the woman at the boutique, the the store, the perfume store said to me. And um, what I smell here, it's it's a wonderful rose. And, and then it doesn't have vanilla, but it has like um, a musky, ambery, woody uh, base, but it's not so loud actually. It's what is what is prominent here is is this beautiful sweet rose, caramelized rose, sugar rose, and on the skin this becomes so elegant. But I have to confess. Uh, the first half an hour on my skin, it turned, you, you got that La Vie Belle DNA. Uh, with this beautifulness that I'm saying here about this uh, caramelized rose cake. But uh, it was more prominent, the DNA, that I was a little bit fed up. And I was, I was like, oh, okay. But then after an hour, it, it changed. It, it, what, the, that DNA disappeared. And then what I have left both on the paper and on my skin is this beautiful thing that is this uh, rose caramel cake that I have on my skin and on the paper. It's beautiful. You have to try it. Go to a perfume store and spray on the paper and on the skin and uh, tell me later what you think. Because I think this is really pretty. Beautiful, beautiful, the best flanker for La Via Belle. Well, this is on my wish list, definitely. I loved it. I loved it much more than um, Jo Malone, that uh, new one, the hibiscus, uh, something that I forgot, red hibiscus. I prefer this one, actually. And you know what? This one is reminding me slightly of that hibiscus marajad from uh, Maison Crivelli. Uh, of course, Hibiscus Maharajad is ooh, much more elaborated and they have other notes that are different from this. But this, the sweetness of the rose, I can say it's almost, uh, almost not the same, but slight similar. So this reminded me of Hibiscus Mahajad. That is also on my wish list. But I think this is more affordable. So probably I'll take this one instead. Anyway, that's uh, what I wanted to talk about today. Uh, my very first impressions and um, my emotions <laughs> are about this uh, new La Vie Belle Rose Extraordinaire that is indeed extraordinaire don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell button follow me on my future reviews and blah 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 about fragrances and uh like this video or don't like i don't know show something show an emotion okay i'll see you next time and have a great day bye bye